Well, hello. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know there's someone that wants to say hi to you. Say hello to Wogan. For anybody wondering, it's spelled L-O-G-A-N, but pronounced W-O-G-A-N. Wogan. Say hi to him, Wogan. He's a good boy. I hope quarantine's treating you well, and I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. I wasn't on board with this whole mask thing. I said, you know what? You'll never catch me wearing one of them goofy masks. But I changed my mind, so I got a couple, and I want you guys to comment mask one or mask two, and let me know which one I should wear out in public, all right? Mask one, boom, baby. Man, how do I look? This is less of a mask and more of a fashion statement. Give me two of them, and I'll fashion it into a brassiere. So this is mask one, and then mask two, boom. What do you think of this one? Little overkill, maybe? You look like I'm trying trying too hard? Does it make my head look big? You guys let me know in the comments below which one you like, mask one or mask two. I'm not gonna lie. They were selling this one at a gas station down the street from me this morning, and I thought, you know what? I'll probably never wear it out, but it'll look cool on Instagram, which is what I feel like half these masks are for anyways, right? You ever notice I don't talk about quarantine? It's because I'm not a scientist. I don't understand infectious diseases. The day that I take quarantine advice from a fitness influencer is the same day I take golf lessons from LeBron. He might be cool to hang out with, but his views are shit. All right, enough playing with our tally whackers. Let's get to the video. I recently made a discovery that I think could be life-changing for all of us, right? And I'm gonna share that with you here in one second, and I promise you're gonna love it. But first, I got an intro, baby. You guys are ready for an epic video, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! When it comes to being lean, mean, being in shape, being muscular, you need two things ultimately. One, you need a good diet. You need to be eating according to your goals. You need to be fueling your body the right way. And two, you need a training stimulus. You either need to be lifting weights, you need to be eating some sort of physical activity. If you are not using the muscles on you, they're ultimately gonna atrophy. So the first thing that happened when quarantine went down is we all lost access to our gyms. I had a great gym. I was going to Alpha Elite, loved it, loved it. But now, unless you're gonna be in Christian's wedding, you're not allowed to lift there. So I have been stuck at home, I got two dumbbells, and I've been making the most of it, which is fine. I can get a decent enough workout in. I'm not worried about that. My biggest problem has been not being able to get my cardio in. And the thing about cardio is that you can really do it with no equipment. You can go outside and go for a run if you want. Let's be honest. I'm not going outside and running. I'm just not doing it. Put me inside on a treadmill. I can cruise Netflix and enjoy myself like I'm on a cruise. I'm down with it. Something about the rubber soles of my sneakers hitting that pavement just doesn't do it for me. It doesn't work. I've tried. Can't get it to work. So I've been looking at ways to get my cardio in. It's a little more creative. I was going and playing basketball, but I went to the court I was going to the other day and they have it padlocked. You literally can't get in. All the cardio machines here at my apartment complex are locked down as well. Can't use those. I can only walk my puppy about half a mile before he passes out for three hours. So I thought I was shit out of luck. And with all the rumors of how long this quarantine is going to last, you really don't know what to believe. Some people think we could be opening back up May 1st. We could have full access to these gyms again and get right back on track. Some other people say it might not be until the end of the year that we're back in the gyms. You really don't know. So not only that, but I mean, we let's be honest. We've all been spending way too much time right here, have we not? I've been standing in front of my fridge for so long, I'm starting to get a tan from the fridge light. I'm gonna start worshiping this thing. Oh, holy one. By the way, if you haven't tried it, Mountain Dew Baja Blast Zero is the bee's tits. And after many long days staring out this window, at the gym they got locked away, at the pool that's off limits, I can't even swim laps, I was looking at ways to possibly get a cardio machine for my house, right? I'm not sure if you've ever priced out like an at-home stair stepper or an at-home treadmill. If you haven't, don't. You'd be better off putting your kids through college. Now, real talk, they want like five grand for one of these things. Even on the cheap side, like a used one, there's like an old model was like a grand. And on top of that, where do you put it? Not all of us have huge houses. I live in an apartment and uh, I don't really have that much room, especially with my new puppy. Come on. It's about the only free space I had was back here and we got a little puppy playpen in there. Playpen for the puppy. And to be completely Completely honest, who wants this big monstrosity of a cardio machine just right in the middle of your living area? Nothing says don't date me. My obsession with fitness is borderline psychotic, quite like a treadmill in your living area. But, but I found a solution. I was at Walmart the other day in the workout section. I was actually looking for some shuttlecocks. And you think of all places Walmart would carry shuttlecocks, but there was not a shuttlecock in sight. If you know a place that carries shuttlecocks, comment below. Because I've been to three Walmarts and none of them had shuttlecocks. 
shuttlecocks. Besides the point. So while I was perusing the fitness section, I found something that uh, has changed my life these last four days. It is a cardio machine. It is not only extremely effective, I will put it up against any stair step or any treadmill I've ever used as far as like my workout, getting my sweat, my calories burnt, but it's tiny. You can shove it anywhere and it's out of the way. You don't even know you got it. And three, this thing was $45 and that was it. So say hello to the stamina mini stepper. First thing I want you to notice is how tiny this thing is, right? Not even, what's this weigh? This might weigh like 25 pounds. It's got some heft to her, but she ain't nothing crazy. So if you live in an apartment, really you live anywhere and you don't want a monstrosity of a machine taking up all your hard earned space, this thing's automatically attractive because of its low profile. Let me show you what I mean. As soon as you're done working out, bub, you can literally just put her underneath your kitchen sink. Boom! Bet you can't do that with a stair stepper. I'm gonna free ball to show you guys what we're working with here. So first off, this thing's pretty freaking simple. Only one button on it, and you can see my last workout, I went 40 minutes, 15 seconds. I did 2,600 steps. I burnt 373 calories. Uh, right now, I'm gonna current rest for a minute zero because I'm not on it. But for 45 bucks, I mean, that's really all the info I need now. Yeah, step on it, which I'm gonna give you guys a full breakdown. But I will say, by the time I get off this thing, I am sweating so much, it's unreal. You got a cool little design here. Look at that. Push down on that one, that one goes up. Push down on that one, the other one goes up. And as far as installation, when I bought it, all I had to do was this little uh, core, hold up. This little uh, metal cord here, all I had to do was put it in this wheel. That was it, just like lift it down from there into the wheel, and she was ready to go, man. No assembly required. And if you're not sold on this thing yet being the best home cardio device you can have for under 45 bucks, I'm gonna give you a little demonstration and show you why I think it's freaking awesome. So, place it right here. Now it's essential that we place it somewhere. If you're gonna do this for a long time, you place it somewhere where you can like lean into something. Let me show you. Don't mind the playpen, it's for the puppy. So we got the step right pretty simple you just step on this bad boy down up down up I mean you can't really mess it up when all you got to do is step so this is fun and all right there's a good amount of resistance here you don't got to toggle any settings or nothing you're just kind of getting everything moving you can feel it activating the glutes the hammies a little bit of calf action it's all fine and dandy but when I'm doing 20 minute 30 minute 40 minute sessions I'm really trying to get shredded right I'm trying to stand up and balance myself like this it's kind of old so I put it on something where I can lean into it put hands on and then boom I can really just focus on hammering out these steps getting my heart up, I don't worry about falling over because something like this doesn't weigh a lot. So if I start leaning to one side, I don't want this thing to, you know, look, start tottering. You don't want that. So I just find something to lean up against. And the best part about this is my TV is right here, right? So I can put something on TV, put something on YouTube, whatever I want to do. I can sit here for my entire 40 minutes and just watch something, man. Just enjoy life. So the same thing I was doing before at the gym where I have my phone, watch them on Netflix, whatever, a movie, do my cardio. Now I get it, except I got surround sound and a 65 inch TV. Talk about living the high life. And boom, I only did that for like 60 seconds and I'm already like, heart rate's up, which is what we want. I'm already, I feel myself sweating a little bit, which is what you want. And I promise you, you do even just 20 minutes on this thing. It'll be a really good workout. I've been doing 40 because I got some catching up to do. Whoever said calories don't count during quarantine needs to be shot. Cause those six large pizzas went straight to my muffin. <laughs> but for real, this thing, since I found it, might literally save my physique during quarantine. I'm gonna let you guys know, in no way, shape, or form did this company sponsor me. No one sent me this for free. No one paid me to do this. This is something I found a few days ago at Walmart, and I was like, this is way too good. I gotta share this. I know there's a lot of you out there that don't wanna spend all that money on a big cardio machine. You don't know when things are opening up. You don't wanna waste money. But I will say, for 45 bucks and the amount of calories you can burn and how little this is and how convenient it is, this might be the single best piece of fitness equipment I've ever bought for my house. Remember the old videos in my old house, I had an elliptical, and that fucker broke out after like two months and I paid a shit ton of money for it. So something like this, if it breaks, what are we out? We ain't out nothing. I'll go buy a new one. You know what I mean? I kept the box. Let me grab the box that way you guys can see what it looks like. This right here, this is the exact box. At Walmart, they had like eight of them in stock. There was a shit ton and 45 bucks. So screenshot this right here. Hold on, hold on, not yet. Wait for me to smile. Right now. Up. I'm real tired of you guys taking bad screen caps and posting them online. Sick of it. But yeah, this is it, man. Like I said, I mean, I really don't got much else to say about it other than stepping off of this. When I do 40 minutes, I feel like I just did 40 minutes on any of my other gym options. So I love it. For those of you that don't have access to a Walmart or maybe you're quarantined, you don't want to go out, you don't want to contract the virus or put yourself at risk, I will put this exact same model or the closest one I can find to it in my description box below on Amazon. That way, if you want one, you can order one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As soon as I found this, 
thing, I had to share it with you guys because it quite literally saved my cardio life. So hopefully those of you guys out there that are struggling, you can't get to the gym, you can't get your cardio in, you feel yourself gaining weight, understand that hope is not lost. You can start doing some cardio, burning some calories and get right back on track. And the most important thing though, when it comes to staying lean, staying healthy, or even getting in better shape while you're in quarantine is by far your diet. Getting on a structured diet is essential. So if you need help with that, you want me to create you a meal plan, check out RangerJamesFitness.com and I promise I will lay it out for you in such an easy way. I'll tell you exactly what to do and I promise you it works as long as you do it. That's it. I'll take the guesswork out of it. I will deliver a plan to you. As long as you follow said plan, you will see results. And especially if you throw something like this in, god damn, you can't lose that way, man. You just can't. Appreciate you guys as always. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Helps me out more than you know. Leave a comment down below. Is there a piece of equipment for working out or cardio that maybe I don't know about, right? What has saved you during this quarantine? Let me know down below. Lots of videos coming. Appreciate you guys as always. Nothing but love. Hasta luego. I will see y'all ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See you guys. Yeah.